Yay. Hi, everyone. Good afternoon. So let me share my screen. OK. So today we are going to uh, discuss the topic about like platform developer on certification maintenance exam. It's a kind of like exam maintenance. So winter 2024. So in this exam, like we can have, we have like two. So one should be like we have one quiz and one more should be like uh, query updater. Like you can use like back classes and all. Right. So now we are going to clear first exam. Then we'll go with this one. So maintain your platform developer one certification for winter 2024. Okay. So let's look at this. So it's a challenge for 100 points. So. Okay, so directly we'll go with the uh, questions. Or else if you have time, then you have to read all this uh, functionality. Like what are the 24 updates, like winter 24 updates, and what was the keywords, and what was the functionality behind this, what we need to improve earlier and now. So this kind of information will be available here. So if you want, you can go through this all the code, piece of code, and functionality as well. Okay, so now we'll go with directly for quiz. So now which SQL keywords can be used? Tipped object permissions and end user query apex code. So or else like you can go with like one by one option call, like you can say uh, just type with keywords. You cannot go through complete this one, then you can go with like some keywords. So with user underscore more something kind of that. So you will get it, that exact answer, you will get it that. So list of account, select ID from account with user mode. So that's for the answer. So you will get it this here itself. Okay, so this is the answer. So now we'll go to, uh, where can I, where can I error message display? So, so just you can take this copy as well. So go to top, where can we get that as a error message kind of that. Yep, here is the error message. Error message two, error message the text three. Okay, what are the options will be available here? So either A or B. So in a window record page or in a specific field. We have two options will be there here. Yep. Okay, fine. So now similarly we have to Check all these questions and answers. Uh, I will go with that directly for answers now. Here, okay. which of X picture in the first movie here are the list of shots method. So it can be like uh, compared with this. So we'll cross check one more time. Okay, everything looks good. Now try to end points on certification one. Yes, successfully one completed. Now we'll go with like second one. Yep. So it's hands on the build variables in the SQL queries. Dynamically pass bind variable here. Okay, so in the challenge, what they are doing? So, so first of all, we have to create one playground for this. So let's create one playground. Create new playground. So if you have already playground, then you have to use on that. Or else, like we have to create one playground here. So like it's saying like uh, click on the launch started. Maybe we have to create one new playground here. Okay. And like what they are asking. So Apex class. Create an Apex class. Name one query contact. Okay, we have to create one Apex class now. Query contact here and replace the content of query contact. The following code. Okay. And next. Okay, still it's wait getting ready to playground here for time being we are going to pause the video like once so it hasn't completed we'll resume again and see
Yeah, I uh, like playground has been created. So now we are going to launch this one. So if you have already playground, then I need to create. So I don't have, so I created now. So I will go with this playground now. So what they are asking, we have to create one of X class called like query content. Just copy this one. Now go to here. Okay, so now go to developer console. Okay, so now go to create one new Apex class called query content. Okay, now subclass so has been created. So now we have to just copy paste this all the lines here. Just copy. Not the developer console. Let's copy paste it here. Okay. So now what we need to do here. Sorry. Go back again. So what they are asking, do not modify any lines of this code. Okay, so we don't want to modify all these things. So implement the logic that will be, so we have to implement the logic here. Okay, so now go to class here. Uh, for this one, like uh, I already type paste somewhere else. So let me take that. So up to here, we are not going to do anything. So just add here. So I'm going to replace this thing. Let's delete. So what I need to do, we have to analyze that code B first. So let's take, so I have to paste it here. Okay, what is the problem here? Line number 24. Okay, sorry. One more basis. Okay, fine. So, what we need to do means like we have to write these lines of code here. So, instead of like what they are asking. So, for these two lines, again, we can remove or can keep like this. Two lines are so I have to write these things. Okay, so one, so we are getting the errors right. So we have to analyze that why we are getting the errors. So now we are going to check that. So what are the errors like? You need to identify first. So exciting. Okay, so now we have to add one more here. So now we have to save this or compile. Let's try to save this one. Okay, so now there is no uh, error message. So what we need to do here, like we have to add these lines of code here. So then it will work. Okay, so now, so we have to take a complete screenshot for this when you are doing a trial head or else like we have to pause video and we have to take this lines of code. Okay, or else like I will put these uh, lines of code into the comment section, then you can get it there directly. Okay, so now I'm going to check so this has been saved, right? So now I'm going to verify the challenge now here. We'll see what will happen. Come on here. Yeah. Okay, so now successfully completed. This is the way we have to complete the platform developer one certification winter 2024. Thanks for watching.